Hi guys, I've just watched Destin's video showing how, some, how the caterpillars crawl over each other to get a speed boost. Now, I thought it would be pretty cool to show this with Lego with three layers to show how, how that works. But while I was testing it out, I, I, I think I figured out why the caterpillars stop from the back of the group, unlike the fish and birds do. So I thought I'd share it with you all. Firstly though, I'd like to share with you all how I worked out the speed boost. Now, let's use a two layer Lego example. The bricks on the top level travel two steps forward for each turn. The bricks on the bottom level travel one step forward each turn. Each brick spends half its time on the top and half its time on the bottom if you go through an entire cycle. So it gives you an average speed of 1.5 steps every time the caterpillars take a step. Now you can use the same thinking to work out three layers. Say so the top level moves forward three, the middle level works out two, the bottom level is one step. So that gives you an average step of two steps every time they take a step. You can then use a formula one plus half of n minus one to calculate this for any number of layers. This unfortunately isn't accurate and it's all to do with the guy at the back. Watch this. Okay now here's our problem. The guy at the back can only go one step forward at a time. This means he's always going to be one step behind the next guy and he's never going to manage to crawl on top. Watch what happens as we progress like this. So you can see that if they all move continuously the back guy just forms a conga line while the blocks on top run to the front of the queue. Let's try again, but this time the group will hesitate one turn each time the guy at the back needs to climb on. Notice that while the group has waited to let the guy at the back climb on, the single caterpillar still keeps crawling. After one complete cycle, the blue brick in the group is now 21 steps ahead of the single blue brick. The single blue brick travelled 60 steps, the blue brick in the group travelled 81 steps. Now to find the efficiency boost, you divide 81 by 60. This gives you 1.35 or an efficiency boost of 35%. I haven't yet figured out a way to do this as a formula, but if any of you have an idea how to do it, then please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.